Hey guys! Sometimes many startups and their founders are reluctant to file a patent for their technology. Money, time, and prior art are primary factors for consideration. Startups ask the question, is it worth it? Multi-billion dollar deals are made in the world of intellectual property. Consider the following two instances. In June of 2011, Apple, Microsoft, Research, InMotion, EMC, Ericsson, and Sony joined together in a consortium to win an auction for the 6,000 patents of the bankrupt Nortel at a price of $4.5 billion. In August of 2011, Google, the losing bidder in the Nortel auction, announced the $12.5 billion acquisition of Motorola Mobility, whose IP portfolio includes 7,000 issued patents and 7,500 patent applications. There are four primary forces impacting the IP or patent micro or ma marketplace. One, IP litigation is at an all-time high. Secondly, we have a very active patent transaction markets. And three, UC, uh, USPTO is overloaded and underfunded. And four, global competition is changing the IP playing field. Let's talk a little bit more about the uh, about Effort Kasnick's presentation, which was also the focus of my previous video. She discussed the major highlights of the America Invents Act, or, I, uh, or AIA, and white space analysis. With another example, she also discussed the post-grant review process. She also covered an introduction to patent litigation and lawsuits. Generally speaking, the startups that are most litigated by patent trolls are companies with less than 100, multi, um, 100 mm annual revenue. These companies represent at least 66% of all patent trolls' defendants. At least 55% of unique defendants in patent troll lawsuits make under 10 mm per year. Efra Kasnick truly imparted to us a lot of key information, and I'm very grateful to have been a part of her audience of her presentation. It was nice to see her compare and explain key ideas and concepts that we have been discussing in the past. I most, uh, most enjoyed seeing the real examples and applications of the various situations encountered in the patent world. I enjoyed discussing the IP marketplace with you all. I hope you find that these two videos gave you a great glimpse into what all uh, Ms. Kosnick talked about during her presentation. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned a lot as well.